today is Sunday, and I thought I'd make a vlog video. I'm not good at this, so let's see if it works out. I've actually done this um, quite a few times, and I just don't upload them. Um, so today is Sunday, and it is 10.50. Uh, Rod and I got up about 8 o'clock, and um, we sold an item to somebody, um, a yard cart. They came at 9, which is awesome. Made a little bit of money. Um, I've done my dishes from yesterday. Yesterday I cooked out on the Weber. We, so I pulled a roast out of the freezer and uh, I defrosted it really quickly in some cold water and it's out on my Traeger right now. Even though we are stuck at home, we're in the stay at home, keep Illinois safe type of a thing going on. I still love to cook out. We haven't been able to go camping and that just breaks our hearts. We have a a new camper. It's uh, new to us. We bought it used back in October. If you haven't seen some of those videos, definitely watch them. I'm so glad we were able to go camping on Christmas because we haven't been camping since. And it is April 19th, I think. So um, I'll take you on a video of the day. So let's go see what the guys are doing right now. Right, here they are. Rod has been looking for parts for a lawn boy mower and I didn't get that videoed. Rudy did. Rudy, you may, you're going to make a video of taking a... Okay, alright. Yeah, are you going to put it on YouTube? No, it's actually just going to go on my TikTok. It's going to be putting a couple small clips of us tearing it apart. What we plan on doing to it. All right, all right. Not you, that you can. It's not going to be long videos, but. That's all right. Yeah. You lawn boy guys out there, if you want to see those videos, let me know and I will give you Rudy's um, TikTok. TikTok. Yes, TikTok, Marjorie, duh. <laughs> um, yesterday I went to the garden house and I bought some, some, look at there's a bee already. I bought some flowers and cucumbers. These here I bought the other day. We're not sure if we're going to put them in the ground today or not. Tomorrow and tomorrow night and Tuesday night is supposed to be 37, so I don't know if I'll actually plant them. Garden's looking good. My uh, flowers, these are um, roses over here. I've had that for quite a while. Let me show you real quick over here. My lilacs. I love lilacs. I remember playing under the lilac bush at my grandfather and my grandmother's house. Here are uh, my flowers. These here are, um, they'll, they'll die down, so we're going to cut these down. We're going to cut all of these down, but there's the rose bush right over there. My friend gave me that a few years ago for uh, my birthday. So I love having a birthday in March because I usually get flowers. So I, gotta, I did put some weed and feed in here. I need to get rid of the weeds. These here are uh, lilies. They're called... Uh, uh, Amarillo, I think that they're Amarillo lilies. They're also called Naked Ladies. So that's growing really good. Over here, oh, all the mowers, all the mowers. I need to clean this out. I've used it a few times, and well, quite a few times, and I haven't really cleaned it. So I'm going to clean this out, and uh, this is a perfect. Uh, Sunday afternoon to be doing this type of stuff. So I'm going to clean this out and scrape these up a little bit and um, get this ready for another cookout. I love cooking outside. That looks, that looks like Wayward is here to help me. Uh, I just kind of scraped it out. Can you, can you see that? Oh, and here's Josh. Hi, Joshy. Quincy's inside. So I just scraped it out. I didn't want... I don't want to like wash it, you know, with soap and water. I could. I mean, I have nothing better to do. But I just wanted to get out some of the the grime, and then I dumped it right here in the backyard, where there is nothing but mowers. Um, so yeah, I just cleaned it up a bit, and then hands are nasty. Put that back on. There. So yeah, here is. The lawn boy, it's a four yep. stroke and My favorite lawn boys. <laughs> You're the best. Rudy, what happened to the recoil? So 
uh, for doing a little bit of carburation work to it. I want to go ahead and get it started, see how she ran. And uh, well, I threw it away already, but the rope ended up ripping on me. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so I got to go ahead and rewire it all up and put a new string oh, on man. it. So we're going to go ahead and do part two and see if it runs. Probably while you're running after doing all this work. <laughs> That's how it rolls. So all this just to see if it works. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. This is a customer's mower, so Rudy will get that done and walk it down to her. Telling her that it don't work. Yeah. Yeah, we were excited when the lady was talking about her lawn boy. Oh, good. We get to fix on somebody's lawn boy. And then it turned out to be a four stroke. Mm. That's all right. Mm. This is what we do. Awesome. And Rod got my top of my grill clean. Thank you, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I just, yeah. And little bird poopies. No, it just has sparkles. Yes. <laughs> well, thanks. Thanks, babe. Okay, and around back here, I have my Traeger. And it is on smoke right now. It's about 150 degrees and there is my little chunk of meat and I want to open that up again I'll leave that and make sure that my pellets are in there I have extras to add to it when needed but I don't have to open this up at all I have my timer set for an hour after an hour I will put um, other things into it and I'll show you that as well here's the chimney that'll be getting used as well you need to buy some wood I don't know what I'm going to do with my wagons. We have had uh, flowers in them, but nothing really grows very well. I don't know if it's because we have too many holes, we don't have enough holes, like in the bottom of the wagon. So, and it's, they need repainted, but they're rustic. I don't really want to paint them. Anyway, I'm going to get that, that grill going. And now, for some reason, the GoPro keeps shutting off. It is so annoying. Anyway, I have my potting soil. I'm going to grab some more potting soil. I read about the garlic, and um, that's going to make a lot of garlic. I'm excited about that. I'll be planting that out front. And, um, yeah, the guys are out here still working on stuff, so let's go see. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here. I might actually put carrots in there. Yeah, they are working on that's the super nutrient. This, this here is a neighbor's mower that Rod and Rudy were working on. And uh, yeah. Oh, and here is the lawn boy. Again, a neighbor's. She walked away. Here it is, the lawn boy. They're gonna uh, clean them up. They're gonna clean them up and, and send them back to the neighbor. Right now at this point, I want to give a shout out to Eric over at Far Point Farms. If you guys don't know who he is, check him out. He works on stuff similar to this. Oh, junk too? Yep, he works on junk too. Huh. Check him out, Far Point Farms. Okay, now we'll check on Quincy. So we have been selling products on eBay. Let me move these papers so nobody sees anything. Um, we are selling parts on eBay. So I have a part packaged here. I have to package this, this, and this. The Pepsi stays. Cat stays. So I'm still going to the post office now. It's starting to pick up. Because I'm not working, I'm going to start putting more parts on eBay. I have all of those totes are full of parts that are not listed. So 
that's a part of the long boy stuff. I will get those listed. Kitty happy hippy. Is he sweepy? Huh? Of course I'm sleepy. Oh, she don't want to have anything to do with me. She says, nope, you're outside. Here's my light. <laughs> I know. I have a dark kitchen, so that's what I do. Um, this here is uh, a rub that I put on to this, the steak that's out there, the roast. I put a little bit of olive oil onto the steak, and then I rubbed it with this here, um, Grill Mates. I've had this for a while. We've used it a little bit, so I thought I'd use this. And then I'm also going to be using ranch dressing, and this here is three ounces of au jus sauce. I'll probably only use two tablespoons, I'm thinking. I might measure this in however many tablespoons the ranch is. I'll do this equal amount of the au jus sauce. And then I have some of these peppers, and I forget what they're called. Uh, Peppuccini, I think, peppers. I only have a few of them. The recipe called for like six or eight. Well, I'm going to use what I have. And that is going to be dinner tonight. And I'll have mashed potatoes as well. And I'll show you when I make this too. Okay, uh, another thing I am doing today is making orange juice. Um, I had bought a couple of gallons of orange juice to keep in the freezer a few weeks ago, or excuse me, keep in the refrigerator a few weeks ago. I also bought this here too. Um, one gallon of orange juice went into uh, containers uh, like like this uh, and I froze it and then I also put them into small bags and I have it frozen I bought this I don't want to use up all of the ones that I have in my little containers so I thought I would make this orange it's almost been an hour since the meat is in the Traeger my cat's playing somewhere. So I'm going to put this stuff together. And I need one stick of butter too. I forgot about that. So, um, yeah, so what are you doing through this whole thing? Are you in the lockdown state or are you in one of those states that don't have the lockdown yet? Um, and what are you doing during this whole time? How are you keeping your sanity. I mean, it's kind of difficult to keep sane with having to stay in all the time. Uh, I'm used to working at least part-time. My hours did kind of pick up. I was working almost full-time, and now I'm back down to nothing. So I'm trying to get used to that, um, which I like, but I don't like because I miss my friends. I miss the kids. I miss my freedom. So, um, so what are you doing? How are you keeping your sanity? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll be reading those, and maybe I'll do some of your ideas. Okay, it's almost been an hour. Um, my trigger chips are doing good. This is where they all fall down right in through there. So I always want to make sure that that is um, doing well. I don't want to have it super full. Um, it's been on smoke, like I said, for almost an hour. There is the meat. I'm going to set the camera up over here. out here. Okay, let's get the meat. One stick of butter. It's a lot of butter. I've been very careful with my butter as well because I don't have a lot. Three dollars a pound. I, um, I don't want to get it too often. Guys are working in the garage. Can you see that meat? Guys are working in the garage. So you probably hear what they're doing. Okay. Like I said, I want to measure this and put equal amounts. This is just uh, ranch dressing I got from uh, Walmart, actually. Just here. Two. About 
two and a half maybe? Yeah, about two and a half. Okay. So I'm going to do the same amount of the au jus. And this au jus sauce I actually got at the meat market, um, gosh, probably like two years ago. That's why I want to try to use it up. So, I will do one, two, and a little bit more. I'll save the rest of this and use it up in a different way, or if we like this, I'll use it the same way. Okay. I'm going to put just these three peppers on there, a little bit of juice, and that, well, not very much juice. Boy, lean me over like this is killing my back. Oh, I forgot to bring a knife out, guys. I wanted to um, cut the butter up. So, hold on, I'm gonna cut the butter and put it in here, hold on. Okay, I am back and there's my alarm. It has been, it's, dismiss. It has been an hour. So I took it out a little early. Sorry about the camera shake. I'm gonna cut the butter. I brought my cutting board out. I was just gonna cut it in my hands like this but it's frozen, so I didn't really want to do that. So, open this puppy up here. It's all sticking. Okay. All right. Just cut this, and I'm gonna put it right on here. I turned the Traeger up to medium. Butter. A stick of butter is a quarter of a pound. All of you who do not know that. They say this is what makes it. Mm, I believe that's true. Okay. That's a lot of butter, guys. And I'm using a meat that is just a little bit uh, smaller than the one, <clears throat> excuse me, the one that the gentleman made. So, or it's just a little bit bigger, one or the other, I can't remember. But let's take this beautiful piece of goodness and put it in here. And put it right on top. Okay. There. Shut that. All right, I'll take the rest of this in and um, clean up the kitchen a little bit. So here's my little setup out here. I have uh, these plants, are plants that I had planted uh, a couple of weeks ago, and they kind of, they're not growing. I had them in a, the red tote. They end up getting kicked over, so I'm going to replant uh, some of them. These ones here are pole beans. I think I'll, um, yeah, I probably will uh, plant another one in there as well. Whoops, sorry, the camera's shaking. All right, this setup might not work as good as what I thought it would. So anyway, I might just shut off the camera and plant. But I have uh, seeds by MI Gardener. I have pepper and carrots. I do want to plant my uh, sunflower from Baker's Creek. I have that for a few years. Um, I have Kellogg tomatoes I want to try again. So. I'm going to transplant, or excuse me, I'm going to plant. Transplanting is to take them out of the buckets and put them into the dirt. I hope to do that in a few weeks. So yeah, here's my setup. I'm gonna cut these and, and uh, put soil in these, put some seeds in these, and everything will probably stay in the red tote and I'll bring it back and forth, or I might just cover up the table with um, uh, something, a sheet or, or something like that, just to keep it cool for the next couple of days. We're there, and I put carrots and green beans in there. The green beans were frozen, um, and the, the carrots are, you know, 
from the refrigerator. The meat is looking delicious. Yum. I'm going to leave that spidey web. I'm going to leave that closed. And my alarm will go off in about half an hour. I'll again check the pellets, but I'm going to leave the grill closed. It's on medium and it's about 200 degrees. I don't know if you can, might be able to read it better than me. It's going good. Really slow cook. Oh, and then over here at my garden area, I planted a bunch of vegetables in here. I still have a couple of containers that I have not planted. I need to water everything. I replanted these ones here. I left seeds in them and then put um, other seeds in there, the same type of seed. And then I have Kellogg, I think, Kellogg tomatoes. They're called Kellogg's breakfast tomato. And then a here is, oh, peas, uh, s giant snow peas or something. And then I have two other um, green beans. I love green beans and peas. I have not been able to have them grow. I'm hoping they will grow. Once they start growing in there, I will transplant them. Probably put them over here. I need to get my weeds out. We had dug this up and I tried to make a garden of it, but it just never did very well. I think it's just too dry. Um, you know, we have the wood here that the mowers keep coming out, and so it just didn't grow very well over here. These here uh, flowers go wonderfully. Those are irises. But I figure I will uh, put my green beans perhaps here. Maybe just leave them in the pot. I don't know. I mean, they didn't do good last year, so I don't know what I'll do. Uh, the guys are still working on stuff. Rod is changing oil in all the vehicles. Rudy just went to get gas for the Zuma. And this is my garden. I think this is where I'm going to have the garlic. Not sure yet, though. Oh, you can't see the meat, guys. Me. I have my meat thermometer. There, I can see that. That is delicious. So what I'm going to do... Move the vegetables over. That way you can see the meat, and this is a really good roast. It's a chuck roast. Beef. And it's getting there. getting up to 160. So yeah, that is done. The thermometer here says for rare it's 140. And for medium it's 160. Oh, yum. That is perfect. So, I am going to keep this machine off. And I wish I brought out a fork and a knife to cut it open. But I'm going to let it set for a little bit and I need to re-watch that video, see what they did with all the gravy. I know that there was something they did with the gravy. So, I'm going to wash this back in. And actually, let me stab the carrots. Carrots might need, I think the carrots need more cooking. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to put the trigger back on. Let it set. Okay, folks, I'm gonna try this steak now. Let me grab, I forgot to grab my fork. Let's give this a try. Uh, on the video, he actually didn't do anything with the gravy, which surprised me. I'm gonna do something with the gravy. Cut this open. That looks amazing little bite. I made mashed potatoes and I still need to grab the carrots and green beans off of the, the Traeger. And a small bite here. Wow. That is good. That's packed with flavor. love this. I hope Rod's going to like it as much as me. 
That's very good. Mm. Hey, thanks for watching. Give me a like, a comment, and subscribe. That. That's what's for dinner tonight.